Hello there, hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are uh, listening from. My name's Helen Harrison and today I want to talk about having more calm uh, in your marriage instead of conflict. So going from calm to conflict that's not a great place to be in. So you may have been in a relationship or a marriage. It could be two years, four years, six years, whatever your length of time. And you've had a fair bit of calmness through that marriage. But you've, you're in a place now where there's a bit of conflict. You're arguing a bit. You're not in flow anymore. And it's really creating a bit of pain for both of you. So that's what I'm gonna talk in today, is how do you change this? How do you change conflict to calm in marriage? So have a look at what's happening now. And so bring it back to yourself. Individually, are you under a lot of stress? Is there a lot of change going on? Have you got changes going on at work? Have you got changes going on at home? Is there uh, things happening out in your extended family? Have you got in-laws or parents who are perhaps moving? What, what is creating this conflict? What is creating this unrest inside of you? Because the key to understand conflict is to understand yourself first and to, to get an awareness of where you are right now. What tends to happen is that when we start having conflict uh, in marriage and in relationships, the first thing that we do, hello Tracy, how are you? The first thing that we do is we, we blame. Of course we do. It's just a natural, natural thing, isn't it? Is that we blame the person who's creating the conflict. However, if you continue to do that, that can really start to create a bit of damage in relationships. So I've watched it. You start to feel this resistance inside. You can then start this seething resentment. The resentment can turn into rejection. And then before you know, you've shut down, you've repressed. They're the different stages uh, that people go through in relationships as it begins to break down. So what, what's actually going on for you? What has changed? What is the stress outside of yourself that's causing this conflict? So the, today I'm going to be talking about the awareness that is needed the acceptance in yourself at where you're at. How authentic are you being in this relationship? And then the action steps that you're going to do to begin changing this. So let's first of all go to awareness. So awareness, if you've got conflict in your marriage, it's having an awareness of what's actually going on for you. Do you notice the anger stirring inside the gut? Do you notice the overthinking, the overwhelm? Do you notice the um, energy vibration in your body? It's got a lot less. You're really unmotivated. You're exhausted. You're actually a bit irritated and perhaps irritated with your partner. So the first place to start is what's your awareness around what's going on for you personally? Having this awareness you are then going to be less likely constantly thinking about what your partner's doing or not doing, the expectations that you have on your partner, the assumptions that your partner should know what's going on for you. So when there's conflict, it's getting out of your partner's business and coming back to yourself and having an awareness of what's going on inside you. The next place to go to is an acceptance. And what I mean by that. We often live in fantasy land. We live in fantasies. We live in imaginary of how it should be or how we want it to be or how it could be or how I think it should be. You know, that picket fence, bring it back. It's an acceptance of here and now. You know, the work of Byron Katie, it's talking about staying in the here and now and the reality of what is here. When we have any type of conflict, there is a real... Um, disconnect of of what reality is and what 
what is going on for you. So, so in the acceptance piece of this, where, bring it back to yourself, what am I not accepting? What do I want to be different? Also the acceptance of the pain that's going on in your body. If you've got conflict in your marriage, it's, it's really bringing it back to yourself, having an awareness of what's going on for you personally, and then an acceptance of what is going on for you. So the acceptance being, it's being able to inhabit your body with an acceptance of, okay, anger's here, or um, frustration's here, or I've got some resentment, or I've got some real hurt what happened five years ago on the 6th of September. Do you know where I'm going with this? It's, it's getting to a place of acceptance. Often we live in a place of where we want it to be different. The only point of power is in the, in the here right now. So having an awareness, having an acceptance of where you are right now, and then coming from an authentic part of you, the authenticity, the, sorry, the authenticity, I can't even get my freaking words right, being authentic, being real. Have you been honest with yourself and then spoken that through to your partner? Uh, it's being able to be really honest with yourself and then being able to speak that out. And if you're in a relationship where you can't be honest, where you can't speak up, where you aren't able to access your inner power source and be really clear on where you're at, you've really got to question what you're doing. Because in a happy, healthy relationship, it's for you both to be able to do that. And for you both to be able to give each other the space to be able to do that. You know, by the time I have couples sitting with me, they're in a space often, not always, but often, where they aren't able to be really honest and talk truthfully about what's really going on. And so they start to get an awareness, they start to get an acceptance of what they're actually feeling and thinking, and then being able to talk into that. Hello, Mandy, how are you? Um, being able to talk into that and then from so we've got awareness we've got acceptance being able to be authentic and then having the action steps that you need and this is often where we can get a bit undone because you know nothing's going to change if you actually don't move your arms and legs in the direction that is of value so if you're in a marriage where there is conflict you've got to have the awareness of what's going on for you You've got to have the acceptance of what's going on for you. You've got to come from the authentic place inside of you. And then what action steps can I begin to do? And I love it when I've got couples who start getting into the flow of it and they start putting action steps in place for themselves personally, but then also as a couple, you know, little things like walk and talk or they will take 15 minutes uh, once, often once they've put the kids to bed, turn the phones off, turn the TV off, turn everything off and just be really connected. Uh, that's action steps. So if you want to be able to go from conflict to calm, there is certainly a pathway to be able to do that. But it is, you know, what I've watched over the years, it's actually a decision it's a decision that you've got to make internally with yourself. Something that's helped me along, along my travels is do I want to be happy or do I want to be right? And, uh, you know, sometimes sitting in that righteous energy. And also for those of you who have got a, a strong, perhaps masculine energy, that energy can be really strong where the partner doesn't really get get to have a bit of a say because you know the work that I do is 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 all energetic it's all energy any type of conflict there's a power imbalance and so it's being able to work with the energies and if one of you has a really strong masculine energy and you're an extrovert and one of you perhaps has a really strong feminine energy and you're an introvert then 
you may clash. So it's learning the inner path, the inner um, way to connect with yourself so that then you can be really authentic, really truthful in, in where you're at. But you can overcome conflict in marriage when it comes from a place of awareness, of deep acceptance in yourself that that is your truth, when it's coming from the authentic part of you, uh, and just then actioning it, I think is a really great pathway forward. Anyway, I'm just about out of time. I love a bit of a bit of a yak on this subject. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Love to hear from you in the comments if it has been. And uh, I do offer discovery calls, particularly for people who are on that voyage of coaching. Coaching is a bit different to counselling. But anyway, um, get on my website, Power of Change, or um, the Helen Harrison website and have a little look around. There may be something that floats your boat. Um, but anyway, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. And you know what? The power of change is within you. See ya.